I'm Mikhailov here from Team Retrogue, where we like retro games, we like roguelikes, and we like the devices that bring them to us. So in my last video, I showcased to you how to get a modded Nintendo Switch to run Lineage OS, which is an Android system. So if you followed that guide and you got Android running on your Nintendo Switch, you're probably wondering some of the things that you can do with it. So in this video, we're going to showcase two things. We're going to showcase PlayStation 4 Remote Play on a Nintendo Switch running Lineage OS. And we're also going to focus on Stadia Cloud Gaming. And we're just going to run both of those and we're going to see how well they run on this system. It's very cool to be able to set up and use these two features on a Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. Now, I do a lot of PS4 remote play on Android devices, and I found that the stock app just doesn't stream that well. So I'm actually using a paid app from the Google Play Store called PS Play. I will put the link in the description. And we're just going to tweak a couple of settings just to make sure that our experience is as smooth as we can get it. Now, I do need to apologize here. I couldn't get the camera to focus on the screen as good as I would have liked to. So I'm going to end up putting the directions in text on the video as well as show you the footage. So let's go ahead and go into our PS Play settings, which is the hamburger on the top left. And then we're going to go into settings. Now, at this point, I know you can't see the screen as well. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you what I did. I set the bitrate to auto. I set the video to keep aspect ratio. And then I set the resolution to 540p and FPS was set to 30. Now you guys can change these settings depending on your internet connection or your setup, but these are the settings that I found worked best for me and gave me the smoothest gameplay experience. So now let's fire this up and see what happens. And here we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn on the Nintendo Switch through PlayStation Remote Play. Right now everything seems to be stable. This plays really nice in handheld mode. And because you have the fully functioning Joy-Con, you actually have all the buttons you need in order to play and enjoy this game. Now the only thing that I did was I actually mapped the PlayStation touchpad to the screenshot button. One more thing I do need to point out is I am playing this at home on my home network with my PlayStation 4 connected to Ethernet in the next room. So your mileage is definitely going to vary whether you decide to take this out of the house or not. Now, unfortunately, this isn't perfect. You are going to get a little bit of stuttering and lag here and there. Uh, this is a Nintendo Switch running unsigned code, so there's bound to be some glitches here and there. But overall, the experience was pretty good. So we're just going to turn the volume up and play a little bit just to showcase what this is like.
last thing I want to showcase to you in this video is Google Stadia. Now, I did no setup or system tweaking here. I just downloaded the app from the Google Play Store and signed into my Google account and loaded it up and it worked very well. Here I am on the home screen. You could see because we're on the Switch, we have full touch capabilities and we're going to load up Cyberpunk. And one of my favorite things to do when playtesting Cyberpunk on Stadia is to just get on the bike and drive around the city just to show you the rendering and actually just enjoy riding a bicycle because I don't know how to do that in real life. So we're going to do the same thing. Look at that awesome move I just did. That was some great biking right there. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just on the ground. My poor bike. And at this point, I had to remember how to actually pick up the bike and mount it again. But the experience playing this on the Nintendo Switch through Stadia is surprisingly smooth. One of the things about Google Stadia that just amazes me is its ability to auto-detect the hardware that you're on and just play it at the correct settings. And it's like I'm playing it on the Switch. There's no lag that I could see. And we're just going to do the same thing we did with Horizon Zero Dawn. We're going to pull up the sound and we're just going to play a little bit and show you what it's like. One of the biggest takeaways that I got from making this video was that I was just utterly amazed how a cloud service like Google Stadia could actually outperform a remote play from a system that was actually located in my house. And I was just kind of blown away by that. And I just wanted to show off how viable cloud gaming and remote gaming actually is if you are lucky enough to have one of these early model switches that you can install custom firmware and android os to so that'll do it for this video in the next video i'm going to actually showcase a nintendo switch running android os as a retro and roguelike performer if this video was helpful to you please like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the viability of using a Nintendo Switch for remote gaming and cloud gaming in the comments below. Bye for now, and don't stop believing.